Well, uh, it is a great pleasure to uh, welcome President Aquino to uh, the Oval Office and to the White House. Uh, I had uh, the opportunity to spend a lot of time with him, uh, most recently during my Asia trip, uh, when uh, we met uh, most recently in Bali. And at that time, uh, we discussed how important uh, the U.S.-Philippine uh, relationship was, uh, the historic ties, the uh, 60 years of a mutual defense treaty, uh, the extraordinary links between Filipino Americans uh, that uh, have brought our two countries so closely together. Uh, and we pledged to work on a whole host of issues that would continue to strengthen uh, and uh, deepen the relationship for the 21st century. Uh, we talked about how we could work on security issues, on economic issues, uh, on people-to-people -people exchanges, uh, and on a whole host of regional issues. And I just want to uh, thank President Aquino for uh, his excellent co cooperation because we've made a great deal of progress since that time. Uh, on economic issues, uh, the Philippines is the recipient of a uh, Millennium Challenge Grant that is helping uh, to foster greater development uh, and opportunity within the Philippines. Uh, we have a partnership for growth uh, that is working on how we can uh, make sure that uh, we are structuring uh, a relationship of uh, expanding trade and commerce between our two countries. Uh, I want to congratulate President Aquino for the work that uh, he's done on the Open Government Partnership, which is consistent with uh, his uh, campaign to root out corruption uh, that can facilitate greater economic development within the Philippines. Uh, and on security and military issues, uh, we've uh, had discussions about how uh, we can continue to consult closely together, uh, engage in uh, training together, uh, work on a range of regional issues together, uh, all of which is consistent with uh, the announced pivot uh, by the United States uh, back to Asia and uh, reminding everybody that, in fact, the United States uh, considers itself uh, and is a Pacific power. Uh, and throughout all these uh, uh, exchanges and all the work that we've done, uh, I've always found President Aquino to be a thoughtful and uh, very helpful uh, partner. And uh, I think that uh, as a consequence of the meeting today in which we've discussed not only military and economic issues, but also uh, regional issues, for example, trying to make sure that uh, we have uh, a strong set of international norms and rules governing uh, maritime uh, disputes in uh, the region uh, that uh, I'm very confident that uh, we're going to see uh, continued uh, friendship and, and strong cooperation between our two countries. So, uh, Mr. President, thank you for visiting. Thank you. Uh, we are uh, very proud of uh, the friendship between our two countries, and we look forward to continuing in the future. Yes. Thank, thank you. But on our, on our point, we'd like to thank President Obama for all the support that the U.S. has given us in our quest to really transform our society. We, ours is a shared history, shared values, and that's why America is just one of two that we have strategic partnerships with. Uh, today's meetings has really uh, even deepened and strengthened a very long relationship we've had, uh, especially as we face the challenges that are before both our countries in the current situation. And again, we'd like to thank them for all the expression support and even uh, the help uh, that has led to resolution of certain issues within our part of the world. Thank you. Sure. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Listen, uh, it is absolutely clear that the economy is not doing fine. That's the reason I had the press conference. That's why I spent yesterday, the day before yesterday, this past week, this past month, and this past year talking about how we can make the economy stronger. The economy is not doing fine. There are too many people out of work. The housing market is still weak and too many homes underwater. And that's precisely why I asked Congress to start taking some steps that can make a difference. Now, uh, I think if you look at what I said this morning and what I've been saying consistently over the last year, <clears throat> we've actually seen some good momentum in the private sector. We've seen 4.3 million jobs created, 
800,000 this year alone. Record corporate profits. And so that has not been the biggest drag on the economy. The folks who are hurting, where we have problems and when we, where we can do even better is small businesses that are having a tough time getting financing. We've seen uh, teachers and police officers and firefighters who've been laid off. Uh, all of which, by the way, when they get laid off, spend less money buying goods and going to restaurants and uh, you know, contributing to additional economic growth. The construction industry is still very weak, and that's one of the areas where we've still seen job losses instead of job gains. So if we take the steps that I laid out to make sure that we're not seeing teacher layoffs and we're not seeing police officer layoffs and we're providing small businesses with additional financing and tax breaks for when they hire uh, or if they're giving raises to their employees. If we refinance housing uh, or, or allow homeowners to refinance so they've got an extra $3,000 in their pockets so that they can spend money uh, and contribute to further economic growth. If we're making sure that we're rebuilding work that has to be done anyway, deferred maintenance on roads and bridges that could put construction back, workers back to work. All those things will strengthen the economy and independent economists estimate it would create an additional million jobs. Now, you can't give me a good reason as to why Congress would not act on these items other than uh, politics, because these are traditionally ideas that Democrats and Republicans have supported. So let me be uh, as clear as I can be. The economy needs to be strengthened. That's why I had a press conference. I believe that there are a lot of Americans who are hurting right now, which is what I've been saying for the last year, two years, three years, what I've been saying since I came into office. And the question then is, what are we going to do about it? And, you know, uh, one of the things that people get so frustrated about is that instead of actually talking about what would help, we get wrapped up in these political games. Uh, that's what we need to put an end to. So the, the key right now is for folks to, uh, you know, and what I'm interested uh, in hearing from Congress and Mr. Romney, is what steps are they willing to take right now that are going to make an actual difference? And so far, uh, all we've heard are additional tax cuts to the folks who are doing fine, as opposed to taking steps that would actually help deal with the weaknesses in the economy and promote the kind of economic growth that we would all like to see. All right? Mr. President. Thank you very much, everybody.